Hello friends. Today I am going to talk about the phase equilibrium in multi-component system. So consider a system that does not exchange heat and mass with the surroundings and it consists of two phases. So let's we have the liquid, liquid phase which is denoted by L and vapor phase which is denoted by V and two components and we have two components. So the individual phases are free to exchange mass and energy between them. The, thus NU which is the total internal energy. This is your total internal energy of the system and S total entropy of uh, the system then we have NV which is total volume of the system now if you define the individual uh, uh, phases then you can write nl uh, first let's define the internal energy internal energy a uh, total internal energy of liquid phase total internal energy of liquid phase similarly total entropy of liquid phase so, and total volume of liquid phase. Similarly, you can define these values for the uh, vapor phase also. So we have NV, V, U, V for total internal energy for vapor phase. This is internal energy and entropy for vapor phase and volume, total volume, total volume of vapor phase. The total internal energy of overall system is given by the total. internal energy of the system is given by it is n u it is the sum of internal energy in the liquid phase and internal energy in the vapor phase right now differentiating both side differentiating both side so what we get, we get D and U, D and L, U, L plus D and V, U, V. Similarly, we can write the total entropy of the system and total volume of the system and then we differentiate these two also. So we will get D and S is equals to D and L S L plus D and V S V and D and V is equal to D and L V L plus D and V V V. Uh, the total moles of component one in the system are total moles of component 1 in the system are so n1 so liquid phase mein kitna hai and 
n1 in vapor phase right since the system is closed and total moles of a component 1 remain uh, constant so what we get if you differentiate this one and dn1 is equals to dn1 l plus n1 v right and which is equal to 0 that means it is not going to be a uh, change it is constant so dn1 l is equals to minus dn1 v similarly we can write for the component 2 so for component 2 dn2 l is equals to minus dn2 v a particular phase is an open system and then we can write for open system is so for an open system as we know that that d n u is equals to t d n s minus p d n v plus summation of daba n u upon daba n i at constant entropy volume and number of components of j and we have discussed this uh, equation uh, in our previous videos so let's take this is the equation number one so for an open system the chemical potential is given by for an open system the chemical potential which is mu is given by so we have already uh, derived some relationship uh, with chemical potential in terms of various uh, with uh, various thermodynamic properties so it is given by so we know that that mu i it is equals to daba and u upon daba and i here the entropy volume and j number of j components j is constant it is also equal to uh, daba and h upon daba and i where entropy pressure and nj is constant similarly you can write in terms of helmholtz free energy and gibbs free energy the same equation in this equation here temperature volume and nj is constant and similarly daba ng in terms of gibbs free energy you can write chemical potential where temperature pressure and nj is constant so we can replace this mu uh, this this whole term this re uh, relation with mu i right so you can write in place of this so therefore d n u is equals to t d n s minus p d n v and in place of this we can write plus summation of mu i d n i right and now we know that since the overall system does not exchange heat and work uh, with the surroundings so therefore the total change in total internal energy would be equal to zero so total internal energy we know that that it is d liquid phase uh, plus in vapor phase total give uh, total internal energy uh, this is u right u v in vapor phase u in vapor phase would be equal to zero so applying equation three to then we get t l d n l s l minus P L D N L V L plus mu I liquid D N I liquid plus mu sorry this is one component one and this is also one mu two um, L D N two L plus T V D N V S V 
this is for the uh, liquid phase similarly you can write for the uh, vapor phase p v d n v v v plus m mu 1 v d n 1 v plus mu 2 v d n 2 v and which is equal to 0. So, the entropy, volume and moles of each components are constant for the overall system. So, therefore, substituting the above following equation, so d n l s l is equals to minus d n v s v. Okay, and similarly, d n l v l is equals to minus d n v v v, and similarly, d n one l is equals to minus d n one v, and d n two l is equals to minus d n two. V. So, we up, uh, we substitute these value into the this equation. Let us take this as the equation number 4. So, substitute all these values into the uh, equation number 4 and then what we get? We get minus T L D N V S V plus P L D N V S V minus mu 1 L D N 1 V minus mu 2 L D N 2 V plus T V D N V S V minus P V D N V S sorry N V V V plus mu 1 V D N 1 V minus mu 2 V d n to v is equals to 0. This so t v minus t l d n v s v minus p v minus p l which is d n v v v plus mu 1 v minus mu 1 l and then d n1 v plus mu2 v minus mu2 l and d n2 v is equals to 0. So, in a phase, the variations in volume, entropy and uh, mole number of species are independent by 0. So, it uh, here what we do, so each term should be 0 and this term should be 0, this equal to 0, this equal to 0 because they are independent variables. So, when we equate this equal to 0, so we get at equilibrium. So, at equilibrium T V, this, this whole term equal to 0. So, this will be goes to 0. So, at equilibrium T V is equals to T L. Similarly, at equilibrium P V is equals to P L. That means temperature in the vapor phase is equal to temperature at liquid phase, similarly pressure. Similarly, chemical potential in vapor phase equals to chemical potential at liquid phase. So, for this is for all the species in the system. That means your system is in the internal equilibrium. Since uh, this conclusion apply uh, for more than two phases in equilibrium, the temperature, pressure and the chemical potential of each species must be uniform for all the phases, right? And uh, the phase equilibrium re uh, refers to a physical equilibrium among phases. So, let us consider a closed system with saturated steam, so which consisting of saturated vapor and saturated liquid. So, according to the above uh, criteria, the temperature and pressure in the whole vessel are the same. So, saturated liquid and saturated vapor phases should also the same. So, let us take uh, for uh, Gibbs energy. So, Gibbs in the vapor phase you can write HV minus TSV. Similarly, you can write for the liquid phase also. So, GL is equals to HL minus TSL. 
So the gifts free energy in both the cases are same. Therefore, the vessel, uh, though it, it, it has two phases, but the temperature, pressure and gifts free, free energy is uh, same. So consider a multi, multi component, multi-phase system in equilibrium. So each phase uh, is an open system and this chemical potential of each system has to be the same in each phase. So uh, that means जितने भी phases होंगे किसी भी system में, तो उस system में if there are multi, multi component and multi phases, then the temperature, pressure and the chemical potential should be same, then only we can say that system is in the equilibrium. उसके बाद ही आप बोल सकते हो कि आपका system equilibrium में है, internal equilibrium, thermodynamically in equilibrium. All, if the, all the values in all the phases is same, right? So, chemical potential is given by, which is mu i is equals to G i plus R t ln of F i cap upon F i. So here G i and F is the Gibbs free energy and fugacity of pure component i. And uh, these two are the function of temperature and pressure. Since the temperature and pressure of all phases at equilibrium are same. Therefore, the criteria of mu i in vapor phase is equals to mu i in liquid phase and that can be written as F i cap in vapor phase equals to F i cap in liquid phase. Thus, uh, equilibrium temperature, pressure and fugacity of component in each phase should be same. So the conclusion of this, this we have number of, agar hamare pas number of components hai and they are present in the number of phases, uske number of phases hai, then aap equilibrium mein kab bolo usko? When the temperature, pressure and the fugacity and chemical potential of all the components in all the phases are same. So that is called phase equilibrium in multi-component 